Father Joshua Stone, Baltimore, Maryland, February 19, 1786. My dear friend and trusted advisor, regretfully I must inform you that I shall not be returning to Baltimore in the spring. I cannot, in good conscience, return to my position as a shepherd to the faithful. How can I lead my flock when I myself have lost my way? Before I can ever preach again, I must rediscover my own faith. I have come to question the very nature of good and evil. I have seen bloodshed in the name of God and witnessed his children sowing the seeds of evil. I cannot escape my intuition that our good Christian faith blinds us to the greater evil that exists within our midst. Tomorrow, I travel to Blair Township. Doubtless you have heard of their recent demonic plight. I know not what manner of evil plagues Blair, but I go to find the true nature of God, and in the process, myself, your humble servant and eternal friend, Jonathan Pry. My good lady, where are your townspeople going? Out of Blair. It is the den of Satan. The witch feasts on our children. What witch? Explain yourself, woman. God help you if you go to Blair. Gentlemen, can you tell me, please, where are all the people going? It's the witch. Ellie Ked- Never speak her name, boy. Good sir, I implore you. What terrifies the people so? God has forsaken us into the arms of evil. Go back to where you came from, friend, before it's too late. Tell me, is there anyone in town? Anyone who can help me? I've come to fight the evil here. Sir, you are a fool if you stay here. But the town's magistrate, Jonah, and Father Goodfellow have stayed behind. Jonah is located in the courthouse, and Father Goodfellow is in the church. I'd better take this with me. Never know when I could use a drink.
Good day, Father. I am Jonathan Pry. I've come to investigate the strange events that have plagued your town. Welcome, welcome, my son. I am Father Hale Goodfellow. A demonic evil has infested our once peaceful town. The people flee in terror. I have prayed that someone will be able to rid this place of her. God willing, you are that man. Her? Do you mean Ellie Kedward? Do you believe she's the Blair Witch? Oh, I am certain of it, my son. I discovered her diabolic way some time ago. And though Jonah finally banished her to the woods, I fear she has escaped and is now exacting her revenge upon the poor souls of this town. It was you who discovered that she practiced witchcraft? Tell me, father. Tell me what happened. She worked her evil charms on the children of Blair. One of these children, a young girl named Isabel Abel, confided in me, and hence the witch was found out. What sort of evil charms? No one knows. The children said that she lured them to her house and drew their blood. It was on this basis that I accused her of witchcraft. What other reasonable explanation could there be? I reported my findings to the magistrate, and she was found guilty. Strange behavior, to be sure. But what other evidence do you have of her witchcraft? It is the very children who accused her that have gone missing. In my mind, this means that the witch has survived her punishment, or worse, returned from the dead to seek her vengeance. You are so convinced of your truth, father. I wish I could be so sure. What troubles you, my son? You act as if you've lost your faith. I have. You must believe in yourself and in God. He has placed you here to test you, and it is only your faith that will allow you to succeed. Then pray for me, Father, for my faith has rotted. God has left me, and I abandon him in return. If you have lost your faith, why did you come here? I came here to discover or rediscover what I truly believe, but each passing moment leaves me more confused. Perhaps I should leave this place before I bring the wrath of God down upon us all. You will find your faith again, my son, and it shall be stronger than ever. You must believe that God has sent you on this great journey to help not only the children of Blair, but yourself as well. Yes, the children. There are things I must tell you, strange things that I have witnessed firsthand. What kinds of things? Graves have been defiled, corpses missing, and one night as I walked home through the forest, I saw the undead roaming through the woods. At first I thought my eyes were failing me, I'm not as young as I used to be, but I ventured close enough to see them, disfigured and demon-eyed and smell them. Oh, I tell you, my son, the smell was horrible. They chased me, and I feared for my life. It was a truly horrific experience. Could it have been a dream? I wish it had been, but it was real. And a few nights later, I began hearing a voice beckoning me. Now I realized it was the witch. The voice was strange, garbled, but at the same time, gentle and alluring. I found it impossible to resist and ventured into the woods. I don't know the woods well, and it was very dark. I was lost after only a few moments. It was then that the voice became threatening, demonic. It became obvious that it was the witch and that I was in the presence of the devil himself. That is a strange tale, father. There are many things here that are strange. I pray that you will uncover the truth, my son, and spare our poor town from this blight. I will do what I can. Whatever truth lies in those woods, I will seek it out. Please stop by the courthouse and speak with Jonah, our town magistrate. I am sure he will want to speak with you.
I would welcome you, good sir, but I cannot imagine what your purpose would be in traveling here. Tell me, what is your name and what business do you have here? I am Jonathan Pry. I've heard stories, stories of an evil that plagues your town. I've come to offer my assistance. Pry? I've heard that name. A witch hunter? I have been known as such. Well, I will tell you this, witch hunter. Our town has indeed been vexed by unexplainable occurrences. Several of the town's children have disappeared, but we have no need for the interference of outsiders. Your children are disappearing. Your townsfolk are fleeing and speaking of witches and demons. And still you refuse my help? The people can be forgiven for jumping to a supernatural conclusion. They fear for the well-being of their children. But this is an official matter. I have two suspects in my custody now. I appreciate your offer, but your help is not needed here. The stories speak of a witch. Yes, we've sown the seeds of our own local legend with that one, I'm afraid. Tell me about her. No, nothing to tell, really. An old woman named Ellie Kedward was found guilty of practicing witchcraft. And in accordance with local laws, she was banished from the town. Banished? Yes, she was tied to a wheelbarrow, dragged into the woods, and left for dead. The winters are harsh here, and no one could survive in the deep woods without shelter, especially an old woman. But how can you be sure? We have sent several search parties into the woods both to look for the missing children and the remains of the witch. Neither has been found. But the children? What else could explain the disappearances? Most likely they've gone into hiding. After Ellie was banished, the children's imaginations began to run wild. But you mentioned suspects. Yes. I am awaiting the arrival of troops to escort two prisoners to Baltimore for trial. And one of them... A woman named Elizabeth Styler is suspected of witchcraft. Do you think she is involved in the disappearances? I found her lying on the floor in the Kedward home. She was mumbling strange phrases. Around her were the remains of dead animals, arranged in a strange pattern. I arrested her for suspicion of practicing the black arts. Who is the other prisoner? Our town drunk, Hiram Heathtoe. We found him hiding in Smith's barn in town. He's always been a bit crazy, but now he insists that he was hiding from a witch or some other form of demonic being. We arrested him for stealing a chicken from one of the local farmers. Until the troops arrive, I will be conducting a more thorough investigation. I would like to question your prisoners, with your permission, of course. You're a man who doesn't take no for an answer, witch hunter. I don't see any use in talking to a drunk and a delusional woman, but you may see them. But I warn you, witch hunter, do not interfere with my investigation. Here is the key to the jail. I assure you that I will stay out of your way. My offer stands. I am at your service if there is anything I can do. If you truly believe that this is a matter of witchcraft, you might consider a visit to Coffin Rock. What is Coffin Rock? Coffin Rock has been the source of legend for generations. Some say from the time before this area was even settled by the white man. Most of the townsfolk whisper the name and would never venture there. But it seems to me that a witch hunter would be interested in a place like that. Perhaps after talking to your prisoners. Here is a map to Coffin Rock. It lies near the center of the forest. If you find anything that will be of use to me, report back here immediately.
Who are you? What do you want? I told that damn Jonah I ain't got nothing to do with anything. Can't you all leave me be? Or at least give me a damn drink. My name is Jonathan Pry. I want to talk to you about the strange events that have befallen your town. I ain't got nothing to say unless I have something to drink. Is this what you're looking for? There it is. Oh, come here, my precious. I have missed you. Thank you, Mr. Pry. Now tell me, what do you want to know? Tell me about Ellie Kedward. The Blair Witch. I told that damn Jonah not to do anything so foolish as to send her into the woods. She will be the death of us all, Mr. Pry. I'm sure of it. She has dark knowledge that can send us all into Satan's arms. She's come back to drag us to the bowels of hell. Look at me. I hid for days from these evil deeds. In Smith's barn. I only came out when I was hungry. Potter says I stole a chicken from him, so they th throw me in here. Defenseless. It's only a matter of time before the devil finds me here. <coughs> Shh, we must be quietly. One of the devil's disciples shares this very jail with me. But here am I can hear you just fine. You can't hide from me, friend. Please, Mr. Pry, I beg of you. If you have power over the evil that plagues this town, start here with the wickedness that lurks in this jail. Why have they imprisoned you, good lady? They accuse me of heresy. I'm guilty of nothing other than being in Ellie Kedward's house. The Magistrate said you were behaving strangely. Strangely? Yes. Would not anyone behave strangely after seeing the terrors I beheld? When I entered the house, I was greeted with the stench of death. Slaughtered animals. Entrails asunder. It was all too much. I was paralyzed with fear. When Jonah found me, I was still out of my senses. That could not have been my work. I could never have done that to those animals. But why? Why were you in Ellie's house in the first place? She calls me. Ellie? She calls you? Yes. She calls for help. Ellie is not evil. She is only misunderstood, as am I. She did not harm any of those children. Ellie was the one that taught me the ways of the craft before they banished her. I've not seen her since that wretched day. So... You admit to being a witch. Yes, but no one knew. I kept it a private matter, lest I end up dead like Ellie. I'm not an evil woman. Does the mere practice of witchcraft make me so? I hear stories of walking dead, of children disappearing, of all sorts of strange things. Surely nothing good or pure could bring about such horror. These events are somehow related to each other, and I am here to find out why. But I've done nothing wrong. They call me a heretic, simply for violating their principles of Christianity. I am going to Coffin Rock today to investigate these events. Then we shall see what form of evil is at work in this town.
What evil is this? God help us all if that old woman has freed herself to inflict such horror. The child must not be freed. Leave now or risk your own soul. Dear God, who speaks to me? Do you know her? Isabel Abel, one of the missing children. Where did you find her? Coffin Rock. Such strange and horrible markings. Who could do such violence to a child? She was splayed across the rock. It looked like a ritual sacrifice. What say you, priest? I say it's the work of a witch. Most certainly the Kedward woman. But how could she have escaped the ropes, Jonah? She couldn't have. She was bound tightly. And even if she had escaped, she would have surely succumbed to the elements. Could it be that another witch, or even a coven of them, seeks to finish her work? Impossible! This is Kedward's handiwork. We must confront the Styler woman and find out exactly what she knows. If she refuses to talk, we will find ways to make her talk. That won't be necessary, Father. Let me talk to her again. She trusts me. Do not allow yourself to be manipulated by your evil, Pry. The devil himself works his deceit through these witches. I need to do some work back at the courthouse. Mr. Pry, I'm afraid your sidearm won't do at all. Take my rifle. Thank you, good sir. I must ask you a great favor, Jonathan. A favor that may well save us all. In this very town is the grave of a great priest. A man who knew much about the forces of darkness. He took to his grave a powerful Christian relic. A cross that grants immense power to he who wears it. If it were to fall into the wrong hands, it would mean disaster for us all. Where is the body buried? In the cemetery. Take this scroll with you. Hold it up to the gate and read aloud the words written here, and you will gain access. Tread cautiously, my son. The woods are in the clutches of great evil. But if you can find the relic and bring it back to me, I'll teach you how to wield its great power. I see you've made it back from the woods. 
I found one of the children at Coffin Rock. She's been tortured, and her body is covered with ritualistic markings. We believe the Kedward woman is still alive, and that it is she who has abducted the children. It can't be. Ellie would never harm anyone. No witch would do such evil things. People are simply afraid of the unknown, and they blame witchcraft for that which they can't explain. Perhaps. But it is the only reasonable explanation. The markings on the child are arcane and must surely be born of witchcraft. I need to get inside Ellie's house, Elizabeth. Tell me how to get there. You'll never find her house on your own without a map. I have one. In a spell book at my house. Jonah would never allow me to have it in my possession here. But if you bring it to me, I can show you how to get there. It would be foolish of me to bring a self-confessed witch or spell book. It's of no use to me here. The priest put a ward on my cell that prevents me from using any spells, so I'm powerless with or without it. If you really want to search Ellie's house, you must bring it to me. Very well. I'll bring it to you. Here is the key to my house. Go quickly. Passed out. I never should have given him the bottle. What a mess! I'll never find the book in here. God forgive me for placing this book back into the hands of that woman. Here is your book. Thank you. Yes, here we are. This will show the way to Ellie's house. But before you go, allow me to teach you a simple spell that will help if you happen to run into any trouble. Here, take this bind evil spell box with you. Throw the small stones within the box at your enemy's feet, and they will lose their ability to move for a limited time. I have no use for your spells. My rifle and musket are all the protection I need. You must open your mind, Jonathan. This is no longer a battle of mortal men. If you get into trouble, you must use whatever means necessary to protect yourself. I will await your safe return.
ATM de Beo Pevenire. What demons are these? This must be what the priest was talking about. I'd better return it to Hale. You found it, my son. But where? Was it still in the priest's grave? I took it from the clutches of the undead. The cemetery is full of resurrected corpses. No doubt the Blair Witch has worked her demonic spells to raise the dead. Then my dreams were true. Thank you, Mr. Pry. Had this sacred relic passed into the hands of the devil's minions, all would have been lost. Let me teach you how to invoke God's power with this cross. You may well need it. May God be with you, my son. I will pray for your safe return.
The spirit of the wolf has delivered you to me, Jonathan Pry. Please, sit. I am Askaya Gigagi, shaman of the Nanticoke. I know you. You have come to seek the truth of this forest, but you are blind to that which lies outside the realm of your understanding. For generations, our people have offered tribute to the dark spirit Hecatomix in return for his protection and favor. The white man has no belief, no respect for the dark spirit, and so paid him no tribute. In return for their disrespect, the dark spirit took them as human sacrifices. But this hatred has blinded him, and now he sees all men as white. So it is this dark spirit who is taking the children. Children from one of our villages have disappeared as well. But why children? Why would he not take any available soul as his sacrifice? They are the perpetuating force of civilization. Without children, our mortal race will die out, and Hecatomix will stand alone as the great chief of this world. Why have you brought me here? What can I do? You must walk between three worlds and bring them together as one. Traveling them is the only way to stop the evil forces of the woods. You have already rescued one child. Now you must save the remaining children in order to bring peace to this area. I come from a different world. My understanding of good and evil is far removed from what you speak of. These are stories we tell our children to make them fear God. I came to hunt a witch, and now you speak of three worlds and tell me that I must battle the devil himself. To me, it's obvious that this is the work of the Kedward woman. She took the children for revenge and her demonic rituals. Your stories are unbelievable. Why do you fear the truth? Why do you blind yourself to the greater truth? You, like all white men, fear what you do not understand. The witch is a woman, no more. These events were caused by a much greater power than an old woman dabbling in witchcraft. I'm not sure what to believe anymore, but I know I must follow my instincts. They tell me the witch is responsible, and it is her that I must seek out if this madness is to stop. Do what you must, witch hunter. You will need me again, and I will be waiting. You will be powerless to conquer the task at hand until you overcome your fears. <laughs>